you here. What could you possibly want with me? Remember when you came to me and you asked for my help? You asked me to keep Sonny away from Carly? Well, it's your turn now. You need to keep your wife away from my husband. Michael, she's using this as an opportunity to spend more time with Sonny. You don't want to have this conversation with me, Claudia. In fact, the less you remind me that you exist, the better it would be. Okay. Jax, I just thought that you would want to know that I walked in on them holding each other in each other's arms. She was literally clinging to Sonny. And I thought for both of our sakes, maybe you could get your wife under control. Hi. <laughs> I downloaded that stuff that you wanted and I put some things on here that I really love. Thanks. You want to try that again with enthusiasm? Or you want to tell me what's wrong? I hate the food here. It's disgusting. Well, why don't you tell me what it is that you really want that you haven't had yet? No, Ooh. No. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies. You know, one of those big soft ones that are all melty. Done. What else? I did something really stupid today. I went off on one of my doctors. Well, you wouldn't have done that if you didn't have a good reason. I'm so sick of everyone telling me what to do. Well, if the doctors here are not treating you the way that they should be, you have every right to speak up. But you have to be smart about it, Michael. I mean, you don't want to give them any reason to keep you here longer than necessary. Right? Any suggestions? Yeah, you have to be the perfect patient. Smile politely. Thank everyone for everything. Get the hell out of this dump as quickly as possible. That's really smart. <laughs> it's not that smart. It's just, it's just common sense. I know what it's like to have people up in your face telling you what to do. I grew up like that. And I hated every minute of it. And I would hate for you to feel as helpless as I did. You really do understand. You're not that complicated, Michael Corinthos. You're just trying to pick up the pieces so you can put your life back together. The problem is, your father there um, put a small fortune into this hospital, and so when your mother decides that she has to control every single aspect of your recovery, the hospital staff bends over backwards trying to make her happy. The problem is, they don't ask you what you want. And I think that's really unfair. Look, your mother is worried about you, and I can't blame her for that. But I, I think that she looks at you and she still sees that little boy. You know, she doesn't see the young man that you've become. She still thinks of you as her little baby. Yeah, she even calls me that. And I, look, she, I understand why she's protective, Michael. She almost lost you. But she didn't. She didn't, absolutely. And she needs to listen to you. Your mother needs to really hear you because you're so intelligent and you're so self-aware. Really, years, years beyond what your actual years are. Everybody, I think, is just so busy looking at your chart that they're not looking at you. That's all I've been saying. Well, I'm sorry. I know. I'm sure it's very frustrating. <sighs> at least you listen to me. Count on it. Just think of me as your backup, okay? What's really weird is that um, my mom told me that she came and visited me every day. Right. But I don't remember her voice. Not like I remember yours. You remember what I said? You were upset. I, I think you were crying. And you just kept saying how sorry you were.